Well, for me, I think art is, is amazing because it's in a way unnecessary but extremely necessary as a, as a testimony of its time. I think it's the most beautiful way we can remember a time, uh, a time with conflict or, a, or um, a moment of leisure represented in painting, how it was represented at the time. It, it's so much more intense than just reading about the event, you know, in a way, to me. So I think that's maybe the role of, of the artist is to, to do that. Everything starts actually with the hand. So what I will do is usually make a really rough sketch of either um, a position of a body or um, a little details that I want to have. And usually it's not like the whole composition is set up as a sketch. It's usually like a little moments that I will then build on. But what I do, yes, yeah, so I do these sketches that I then photograph with my phone and then trace um, on Illustrator on my computer. I usually uh, sketch and draw in, um, when I'm in uh, transit. So for me, the, the moment I can concentrate the most is really if I'm in, a, in an airplane or even in a train and kind of I'm forced to do nothing. Like airplanes are amazing because you don't even have a, an internet connection, which is really good. Because I have a tendency also to look at too many images and I realize that if I do the sketching with a book or with the internet, it will be less interesting than if it really comes totally from me. Everything crystallizes more when I'm away from the distraction or like the, the, the source, let's say. Uh, my godmother is an art historian and she specialized in religious paintings, so a lot of Quattrocento and... And she would bring me to museum and select one or two paintings and tell me because there was this huge painting with like a whole story behind it and then there was like these little signs of like, uh, the, uh, like the position of the hands and then another certain object also meant something else um, uh, so and this I was completely like fascinated about and that's why there was also a lot of hands in there I think they can be so many things they can be a decoration they can be a mask they can be a protection they can say something they can reject something and also I like to sometimes bring like yeah also little objects that sometimes it just for me, just for a little inside joke sometimes that I have and I want to put in there or sometimes to also ref like reflect an idea. But I think that has had a, a big influence on me. Um, I'm very obsessed by the pre raphaelite painters. As you see, everything is extra elongated. And um, for me, that's like the ideal body is like this extremely long and um, uh, very thin and like maybe... Um, so yeah, there's also that that um, I'm pretty fascinated about. And obviously, like a lot of the, the, the modern painter, like Picasso or Matisse are also extremely influential to me. So it's a bit all over the map, to be honest, <laughs> but most, a lot of painting. So in the computer, I will usually trace a few of these sketches that I've had and will put it in a, in, a, in a file that will have a certain format that that is not thought through. It's like, I just need enough space. So the format will be created with like, okay, I have two or one sketches that I kind of want together and we'll try to place it. And that's when sort of the, the composition, the format of the image as well, the ratio will, will start to, to come about. But this, the format and the computer can change until the very end. That's the beauty of, of the, and the freedom of the computer is that, like I said, I don't need to have a clear idea at the beginning. Like, as I, as I go, it makes more sense and then I, I know where I'm going uh, as I go along. So, to be very technical, like first I trace on Illustrator and I make this like, sort of like, bigger area of colors that I can then intervene in, in Photoshop and fill with a color or a gradient and then I can smooth everything out and use the different tools to really paint, like add the shading, add the, the depth and, and all of this. Um, there's also the magic of the, 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 the program that has all these um, pre-made uh, pre, pre uh, filters, for example, so like for photo that you would do for photography or something like this, and you have like the night filter, and then on the image I will add it until it's amazing and I didn't plan it at all. 
and it really creates like a, a light that I didn't even plan. And so there is also this sort of like um, essay and um, tryout and error that sometimes if you see the initial uh, image, it's so different from the end because it's, yeah. Well, what you, what you need to understand is like, in, like even though the surroundings are extremely minimal, uh, what is in, actually in my computer is like thousands and thousands of images and a connection to different um, websites and I mean it, like an, a, an infinite source of material that's in, in the computer. So really, if on the walls you see nothing, I have like a lot of material but that is in this, in this screen. So I think at the end of the day what I need is like a pause because like I, I eat so many images all day long and so many uh, look at yeah, so many videos and everything that you need some some calm like around for, for me I need calm around me because it's since I work also from home uh, I need to step away from the office and for me the office is really this tiny windows that but that is super infinite so um, yeah it's for me it's like I step out of the office is like stepping out of the computer and then I and I don't want to have like what I've been working on all day on the wall as well because I first of all I don't need it. I need to digest it and so I need yeah. Much much more much quieter. Yeah. I think my universe is I think my universe is very much it's these moments of self-reflection and this sort of like, I think uh, when the, the idea of the show was presented to me, uh, there was in the description of the idea, like the idea of the purgatory between worlds. And I think for me it's really um, a subject that I want to address. It's this moment when you're really only with yourself. If you notice like they all sort of look the same and if there is more than one character, they never really interact with each other. And if you also look at the lighting in a painting, it's very artificial. My very, my very, most, my very first paintings were very much about um, uh, the, the devices, for example, people being on their phone and like this outsource of light that would really, um, there could be a screen or like yeah, any of these like devices that we are so, um, I, I am and I think a lot of people are so now attached to and um, dependent on. And uh, so it's almost like this, this little bubble in between you and the outside world, but when you, you're really alone, but when you, you're scrolling through and being on social media or something, it's like you're lurking out and being this kind of voyeur, and at the same time knowing that you're also being voyeured on or something like that. So it's also these moments of like, we're never really alone anymore at all, at any time. Like in the middle of the night, I cannot not go on the, on the social media and you see what is going on and so and so you're back into your day like you're completely back awake and and it's almost a bit uh, masochistic in a way it's like i'm already stressed and now i'm going to look what other people are doing and like um, so it's like a, sort of this also infinite um, connection with the world that you you are unless you really have to be super disciplined and say i will cut myself out cut myself off uh, myself out but you really need to make the effort you know, it's, I feel like maybe before it was, you, you could isolate yourself a lot more. So I think there is like also, they all sort of look the same. They have this genderless, almost humanoid, like more like, they're more like avatars than that I really want them to be recognized. And like I said, there is really this moment where like, you are completely disconnected. You're connected, but Really in this, I imagine really this sci-fi sort of bubble of you and like what you can look at and like, yeah, there will be two people in a bed, for example, and they, they're both like completely ignoring each other. You forget your actual surroundings, I think, in these, in these moments and it's, it's kind of scary because you, you forget everything you have because you only see what you don't have or what you would want to, like there's this, this, uh, longing of, of something else you know and it's right there like you have your loved one right next to you in the bed and you still are too drawn to like everything else that you should be doing or when or how or how you should represent yourself as well and I think for me it's kind of a problem so it's like how do I want to be perceived how, do, how should I be how should I behave and
first of all, like the, yeah, the, the actual moment where I, when I print the the image, it's the only time it really comes to life. So its format is now definite, and I also sort of discover uh, the image. And I think in my image there is something quite tactile. Like there is always this really luminescent skins and a lot of uh, a lot of like hands and uh, the way the light is captured. And I kind of want to bring that even more. So imagine I have like 72 layers on Photoshop. It's almost like adding the last layer that is a physical one. First of all, because I like the idea that it starts with my hand, with the drawing, and it ends also with the hand. And to improve some so sort of what the printing cannot do, but since it's very flat, is also bring it to life and give this tactile feeling to it. So I will use mostly varnishes and like almost like body fluid sort of uh, materials like the latex or something that you almost want to to touch and it's almost this sort of even more complete immersion into this world um, and yeah and also just really like aesthetically also sometimes i like that when you look at a painting you move around it and it really transforms when it, the light catches some of the varnishes or some of the glitter of a nail polish something and it brings sometimes a little bit of humor or like of eeriness or yeah i think it sort of completes it. Sometimes it doesn't need it at all. Like it, I like the flatness. I, I want that the, the eye completely travels uh, in, the, in the image, but sometimes I like to, to, to like also guide a little bit the viewer into some parts and, and so on.